All right, awesome. Hopefully you guys can hear me. So today I wanted to go over exactly how I was able to lose 35 plus pounds and seven inches off my waist. I wanted to go into detail. So this video is going to have a lot of value, especially if you're a super busy professional and you struggle to lose belly fat, you struggle to prioritize your time. So I'm going to walk you through all of that. So I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible, but I want to provide a lot of value. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So for context right here is actually very recent. So I'm about 180. Um, but for my initial journey, I was 226 on the left. And within four months, I got down to 193. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how that went and how I got that done. So let's go. All right. So a little bit about my backstory. I don't want to go too much into detail about my backstory, but I feel like it'll give you a better idea. And some of these things you could resonate with, because a lot of the times, if you see someone in your same position or going through the same struggles you are, and they're accomplishing what you want to accomplish, that often gives you a lot of like motivation, but it gives you hope as well. And a lot of time, hope is like one of the biggest things. Like when you have hope, it's like, dang, I could really do this. If he was going through that, I could do it too. So just for context, I was working overnight as a full-time nurse. So working long 12 hour shifts, sometimes 14, 16 hours, feeling exhausted 24 seven. And I was going through like a super bad breakup. Um, so that was like emotionally draining, which really messes up your focus in the gym as well. I was working 12 hour shifts. Like I said, eating habits were horrible. I would actually, after every shift, I would go to McDonald's and get two sausage egg McMuffins, get a hot cake order, get two hash browns. Sometimes I'd even throw in a Frappuccino, which is upwards of 2000 calories. So um, that's why I was gaining a lot of fat. My scrubs weren't fitting anymore, which was very embarrassing for me. And I didn't really want to tell anyone about that because that's like super embarrassing when you're supposed to be you know, a healthy nurse and you're overeating to the point where you can't even fit in your clothes anymore. So it's definitely losing confidence. I stopped taking pictures once I got past like 226. Um, there were some days I stepped on the scales like 230, 235. And I was like, yeah, I'm not taking any more pictures. If you follow me on social media, I was posting like a bunch of old stuff. I refused to post like recent stuff. It was very embarrassing for me. So once again, this is exactly how I started the volume method was actually experimenting with myself, of course, first, but it's from prior knowledge from my, in-person personal training experience, also training myself, also getting my certification and just researching different things. So the key to it, the thing that makes it sustainable and the reason I still follow it to this day is because you do not have to spend hours in the gym working out, which is big for me because I do like to be in and out the gym. I like to be efficient. I don't like to waste time, right? Time is our most valuable asset. So I'm gonna walk you through the two phases, PRN phase, 90 to 120 days, focused on calorie deficit. So mine was a 16 week journey. So it's going to be about 120 days. And then the stat phase where you reverse diet, you up your calories a little bit, you have more food intake and you do a little bit more cardio. All right. So the epiphany phase, of course. So like I said earlier, I was grabbing McDonald's after like every single shift because the only thing that's open at 7 a.m. in the morning is a.m. in the morning is like McDonald's. Well, McDonald's was right next to my apartment complex when I was living in Jacksonville and I'll grab it. I'll grab two sausage egg muffins. I'll grab hot cakes, like I said. And I was embarrassed of my eating habits, like I said earlier. And before work as well, since I was working overnight, I would probably work out. I would wake up pretty late, probably like 5 p.m. ish. And then just like grab a snack on the way. Usually I was kind of hungry because obviously I didn't eat anything all day. So I just grab like some gummies and like a sugary protein shake because it had protein in it, but not really. It was, it was very high in sugar. My endurance, my endurance is horrible. Walking upstairs, I would feel winded, which is not normal for me. Getting up, I would feel winded. I would feel sluggish when I woke up. And I was getting a lot of acid reflux symptoms. Like when I went to sleep, a lot of reflux, you know, a lot of bloating, all of those things, which really, really sucked. And these were definitely my weaknesses right here. And of course, Chick-fil-A and McDonald's. I was like my entire diet. All right, so for my PRN phase, obviously my nutrition was super horrible. So this was a priority at first. So this was a priority at first. So I was super stubborn and I was like, well, I should have a fast metabolism because I work out and I do this and I do that. So first thing I had to do was really, really put my ego to the side because that was a big deal. Because I was, I was like, listen, you obviously do not have a fast metabolism. There's really no such thing as a fast metabolism. It's all about your habits and how much you're working out and you being a calorie deficit. That's how you lose weight. People don't just have more food. People don't just have faster metabolisms than other people. You have to, the things that you do throughout the day is what makes up your expenditure, right? So I had to be honest with myself, look myself in the mirror and be like, look, 
if you want results, if you want to not be in the same spot six months from now, you need to be honest with yourself and change your habits because your habits are very unhealthy and your blood pressure is getting high, which is the first time in my life my blood pressure ever got high. So I started meal prepping for real. Like this was like the first time I officially started meal prepping for real. Like I really had the type of where I really had a plan. I really executed it. I really stopped getting fast food and I was more intentional and aware with all my habits. So the hardest part was like when I went to the gas station and I paid for gas and I couldn't get the gummies. So I just stopped going inside the gas station and started just paying outside. So I don't even look at the gummies, right? I started bringing almonds to work, sandwiches, like even deli meat sandwiches, which, you know, high in sodium, but I would make them from home. They were high in protein and they're way better alternative to, to the candy and the chips that I were eating consistently. And I was eating more frequently to curb my cravings. What a lot of us don't realize is that a lot of your cravings come because you go to long periods of time without eating. That's what, that's where the majority of your cravings come from. I've even had clients tell me that once they start eating on plan, their cravings go away. So once you're eating more complex carbs and snacking throughout the day, your cravings will go away a lot versus when you eat like two times, 10 hours apart, your cravings will be super high. All right, so part two, focus on strength training and calisthenics. I'm big on calisthenics, and when I did get heavier, it was harder to do calisthenics, which is another thing that really got to me because I, I love calisthenics. I kept my rep ranges between 6 and 12 because you want to maintain your muscle mass, which means you want to maintain your strength. They go hand in hand. I increased my step count since I was working 12-hour shifts. I was doing one-on-one -on -one care, so I was kind of you know sedentary during my shift. Since I was doing one-on-one -on -one care, it was one patient, and I had to like focus on them the whole time. And when I was in the gym, I made sure I was efficient. So I had a plan. If you do not go in the gym with a plan, you are wasting your time, guys. I'm telling you, because when you go in the gym with a plan, you will be in and out. You'll notice that you're doing 45 to 60 minutes, you know, leg day, 60 to 90 minutes instead of two to three hours, like a lot of people do do. And yeah, it's super important what you do in the gym, not how long you're in the gym. I know people say, well, I work out for four hours. What the hell are you doing for four hours? After an hour, you're going into your muscle stores anyways. Also focused on progressive overload, make sure I was getting stronger as well in all my compound movements, especially. And this was me after eight weeks. So as you can see, there is some progress there. You know, I, I started getting confidence. I started taking pictures again. Um, I dropped down to around 208, was 208 to like 210 from 226, 230. And a lot of initial weight was water weight, of course. But yeah. All right, and then the stat phase, of course, I was still in the deficit. I added more cardio and I started eating a little bit more, as you can see, chips and ground beef. So I started incorporating a little bit more carbs and I had to get new scrub pants as well, which is a good thing. My energy was up. I was really feeling good. Like it was it was kind of like a, a turning around moment because right before I started actually executing the plan, it was a lot of people like on Reddit and all this other stuff saying like, oh, yeah, if you're out of shape, you're, it's genetic or you know, like if you're working as a nurse, you can't really get in shape. You're kind of, you know, it's, it kind of is what it is. Limiting beliefs on Reddit that I was reading into. And, you know, when you read into that stuff, you start to actually think like that. So once I actually started making progress and, you know, seeing it was possible, that gave me all the confidence and hope I needed. All right. So to wrap it up, guys, like I said, this is not going to be a long video. To wrap it up, I dropped 35 plus pounds, seven inches of belly fat. However, I've been able to keep that off since then, and I'm still making progress. I'm still setting higher goals, but I've, I've literally, I haven't had any issues with like cravings or anything like that, incorporating cheat meals, cheat days. I haven't had any issues with that since I actually like got to my goal, which was my initial 226 to 190-ish. That initial was 2021, 20, all right? And that's three years ago. So the past three years, I've literally been, you know, getting leaner, maintaining, gaining some muscle, having more endurance, you know, eating different recipes, enjoying myself. So yeah, I used the volume method, prioritized strength training, not just cardio guys, made sure the calorie deficit was sustainable, which is a biggie, added more cardio, focused on small, sustainable changes, worked out mostly on my off days, which is big, 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 because it makes it more realistic for you to complete your workouts. So like I said, I lost 35 pounds, seven inches in 16 weeks. So this video is, is for you. If you are a nurse who struggles with belly fat, your nurse who doesn't know what to eat on your shift, you're a busy medical professional, and if you're ready to prioritize yourself, lose 20 plus pounds and lose six plus inches of belly fat in 16 weeks, I will not only help you lose that in 16 weeks, 
without the use of fed dice but i'll refund you if it doesn't work which is not possible as you can see from all these results all of them are nurses i have two moms here but the rest are nurses and as you can see belly fat is just disappearing most people are maintaining their muscle mass as well so if you guys are interested make sure you book a call it's going to be linked is going to be in the bio and i hope you enjoyed this video and took value from it and if you have the same struggles you can incorporate some of the things that i actually said in this video for free and you know get results from that hope you have a blessed day